right hi friends this is shanmuk i'm a sql db trainer uh, in this video i'll show you how to change the service account of a sql server okay how to change the service account of a sql server so guys I'll listen carefully if you want to change the service account you have to restart the sql server after changing the service account so changing service account is a downtime activity so take the proper approvals before doing this activity okay so now i want to see first of all on which server on which service account my sql server is running that i can see under services.msc go to services.msc there you can see just select as any service and hit yes and here you can see sql server service which is default instance currently it is running on nt service okay ms sql server which is not a customized service account so i want to change the service account of default instance database engine service and default instance agent in agent service so i want to change the service accounts for these two services so for that what i have to do go to the database engine service go to the properties of the database engine service and go to log on tab there you can see the service account credentials details and all select browse okay and here i am going to type the service account i have the service account details with me this is my service account okay so before doing that make sure you have the service account okay complete service account name and password of the service account you should have these details with you then only you can do this activity okay just click on check names now you can see if the account is existed you can see okay the account will come like this computer name slash your service account name or else domain name sometimes you can see the domain here domain name slash your service account name click ok then you have to give the password okay so let's give the password for this not new password uh, you have to give the one when this account is created will give one one password that password you have to give here okay it's not new password and all just click on apply it is saying you have to okay uh, the account has been granted the logon as a service right so just click ok and the new logon name will will not take effect until you stop and restart the server that's okay fine and click ok guys okay so now just change it for agent as well then we can go for you can also double click on the service okay every time right click won't work so, uh, so we'll, we'll go for a double click on the service go to logon tab and again sql underscore svc underscore act this is my service account name check names click ok and give the password okay not new password again so while creating the service account which account what is the password of the service account you have to provide the password same password here also apply and ok and click ok guys now after changing now you can see earlier you can see entity service instance name now you can see uh, custom service account so after doing this you, what you have to do select the instance and you have to restart it to take effect of the new service account okay so again changing service accounts needs reboot of the sql server and make sure you give the proper password if you if you give the wrong password and all your services won't start it guys your services won't start if you give wrong password your services won't start so make sure you are giving proper password and all make sure you have service account name and password handy before doing this activity and make sure you have proper downtime approvals for this activity okay thank you for watching the video